Tonight, a heart attack is being blamed for the death of a Mississippi school bus driver and the injuries of nearly a dozen students who were on his bus uh, early this morning when it crashed. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katina Rankin. And I'm Richard Bransom. The bus flipped over on Highway 72 near Ashland, Mississippi, about 60 miles southeast of Memphis. Eight of the students were rushed to Lebonner Children's Hospital. The Benton County coroner identifying the bus driver as Chester Cole. Yeah, that's right. And local 24 News reporter Brad Broder, he's Brad Broders, rather, he is live at Lebonner. Uh, Brad, how are these children doing tonight? Well, there is good news to report, Katina and Richard. Four of those uh, students who arrived here this morning, doctors say they are expected to be released today. The other four are expected to be okay, but might have to stay a day or so, a couple of days here at the hospital. In Benton County, meanwhile, those who worked in the district are remembering that bus driver, Chester Cole, who worked for the district for five years. For Benton County School Superintendent Steve Bostig or any superintendent, it's a call you never want to receive. It's just a tragedy that it just happened to our district, and we're very unfortunate that it happened. Before 7 this morning, Bostic learned one of his employees, 63-year-old bus driver Chester Cole, died from a heart attack on Highway 72 near Ashland, Mississippi. It caused this bus carrying Ashland High School students to go off-road and flip on its side. We do train for this all the time. Eight students were taken to the Bonner Children's Hospital in Memphis, four who were airlifted. I cannot remember a bus accident this severe um, in a few years. Lebonner Dr. Regan Williams said the hospital's disaster training just last week was fresh in the trauma team's minds as the Mississippi bus crash victims came in one by one. Emotionally, we just all get ready to take care of the patients and make sure that um, Everyone is available and on hand. Just a little devastated, but at least the good Lord was with everybody. David Lloyd's stepson Nathan and stepdaughter Haley were on the bus. While doctors released Nathan this afternoon, Lloyd said Haley will stay at least one night with a broken jaw, ankle, and leg in two places. Just make sure everybody keeps our thoughts and prayers with everybody. And Now, we did hear from that Benton County School Superintendent in Mississippi earlier this morning. We're also told that superintendent came here to Lebonner Children's Hospital this afternoon to check on those students. Reporting live in Memphis's Medical District, Brad Broder's Local 24 News.